Lesson 14 Debit Credit Note Management In this presentation, we will discuss about entering debit credit note. Debit credit note is raised against a party for a reason other than the invoice sent to it. For example, any discrepancy in prices, goods returned by the party either fully or partially, any trade discount provided and so on. There could be many reasons for raising a debit credit note to a party. If a reason for raising debit credit note is sale purchase return that is either you have returned the goods to your party or your party has returned goods to you then you need to enter a sales return credit note or purchase return debit note voucher apart from sale purchase return if there is any other reason for issuing debit credit note then you have to use debit note without items or credit note without items voucher npc so first of all, we will discuss raising debit credit note against supply output or we can say sales. We can issue a credit note to the party in case we want to provide some post sale discount or there is some discrepancy in price that is price has been reduced or there is a return of goods either fully or partially. We could also raise a debit note for the party in case the sale amount is higher than the amount entered in the invoice. That is by mistake invoice has been entered for a lesser amount. So, we will now discuss each of these cases one by one. Here, first we will discuss that how we can post an entry for credit note issued against sale. You need to enter a credit note without item voucher in busy in case you want to raise a credit note for the party to whom you have sold the goods. It could be due to any reason like decrease in price or you want to give some trade discount to the party. So, we will discuss that how you can enter a credit note voucher in busy. To enter a credit note for the party, we are going to transactions, credit note without item, add option, specify the voucher series, voucher date, voucher number. Here we are taking the GST nature as credit note issued against sale. Then we are crediting our party account, debiting the sales account, then we are debiting the CGST output and SGST output accounts. Since this was our local transaction, so we have debited the CGST, SGST output. If this was an interest rate transaction, then we could have debited the IGST output account. Click save button to save the voucher. On saving the voucher, an adjustment of debit note credit note window will appear in which first of all you need to specify the reason for entering a credit note voucher. Here we are selecting the reason as post sale purchase discount. Then you will specify the original invoice number that is the invoice against which you are issuing this credit note. You can see its details related to that invoice are appearing in the grid. Then you will specify the tax percentage and the nature of transaction. Like here we are taking the nature of transaction as registered. Click save button to save the transaction. Next we will discuss raising credit note for sale return. In case there is a sale return, either fully or partially and you are required to raise a credit note for the party, then it is recommended to enter a sales return credit note voucher instead of credit note without items voucher. Basically, if the goods are returned, that is inventory is affected, then you have to use the sale return or purchase return voucher instead of debit note credit note voucher. So here we are going to transactions, sales return, add option, specifying the voucher series, voucher date, voucher number, sale type party on pressing the enter key on party field you can see an original sales detail window is appearing in which you will specify the voucher number of the original invoice against which the goods have been returned so we have specified the voucher number then busy has shown all other details like voucher date sale amount igst tax amount and so on next specify item related details then apply the required bill sundries and click save button to save the voucher our next case is a debit note issued against sale. This could be possible in case there is an increase in price of the items you have sold and you are obviously required to enter a debit note for the party against the sale you have made. For example, you have entered a sale voucher in which amount of the item is by mistake specified as 30,000 rupees instead of 33,000. Then in such a case, you are required to enter a debit note without item voucher for the difference in price. So we are going to debit note without item, add option, specify voucher series, voucher date, voucher number. GST nature we are selecting as debit note issued against sale. Then we are debiting the party account crediting the sales account, CGST output account, SGST output account and clicking the save button to save the voucher. 
On saving the voucher, an adjustment of debit note credit note window is appearing in which we'll specify the reason. Here we are specifying the reason as correction in invoice. Then specify the original invoice number, GST percentage, CGST, SGST amount, and then you need to select the nature of transaction. Click OK button to save the transaction. Now we will discuss entering debit credit note against supply invert or purchase. In case of supply invert or purchase of goods, you can receive a credit note from the party in case there is a decrease in price or the party has given some trade discount to you, which in turn would be a debit note for you. You may also require to enter a debit note to the party in case there is a return of goods, that is you have returned goods to the party. You can sometimes also receive a debit note from the party against the purchases you have made in case there is some increase in price, which in turn would be a credit note for you. So we will now discuss each of these cases one by one. First, we will discuss making an entry for credit note received against purchase. In case there is some discrepancy in the price of goods you have purchased, then you will receive a credit note from the party and you will enter a debit note without items voucher in busy or you can enter a journal voucher also so here we are discussing debit note without items voucher for this we'll go to transaction debit note without item add option specify the voucher series voucher date voucher number gst nature we are selecting as credit note received against purchase then we are debiting the party account crediting the purchase account and then crediting the IGST input account. Click save button to save the voucher. On saving the voucher, an adjustment of debit note credit note window is appearing in which first of all we'll select the reason for entering this debit note voucher. Here we have taken the reason as post sale purchase discount. Then specify the original invoice number, GST percentage, IGST rate and nature of transaction. On clicking the OK button, a GST reporting details window is appearing in which you need to specify the supplier's credit note number. That is the credit note that you have received from the party, the number mentioned on it. That is the credit note number as mentioned by the supplier. You need to specify that number in this field. And the credit note date field by default shows the voucher date and you cannot change the data in this data field. Next, we will discuss entering debit note for purchase return. A purchase return debit note voucher is required to be entered in case there is a purchase return by your company that is you have returned goods to the party. So we are going to transactions, purchase return, debit note, add option, specifying voucher series, voucher date, voucher number, purchase type, party. On pressing the enter key on the party field and original invoice detail window is appearing in which you will specify the voucher number of the purchase voucher against which you are making this purchase return. Then specify the item related details, apply the required bill sundries and click save button to save the voucher. On saving the voucher, a GST reporting details window is appearing in which you will specify the supplier's credit note number that is the credit note number you have received from the supplier. Click OK button to save the voucher. Next we will discuss debit note received against purchase. In case there is some increase in price of the goods you have purchased then you are required to enter a credit note voucher or journal voucher for the debit note you have received from the party. So we are going to transactions, credit note without items, add option, specifying voucher series, voucher date, voucher number. Here we are selecting the GST nature as debit note received against purchase. Then we are crediting the party account, debiting the purchase account and then debiting the CGST output and SGST output accounts. On saving the voucher, an adjustment of debit note credit note window is appearing in which we will first of all specify the reason for entering the credit note, then specify the original invoice number and select the nature of transactions. Again, a GST reporting details window is appearing in which you need to specify the supplier's debit note number, that is the debit note you have received from the supplier number as mentioned on it, you need to specify that number in this particular field. So this is all we have to discuss in this particular presentation. Basically in this particular presentation, we have tried to cover almost all possible types for which a debit note or credit note voucher can be entered. At the end of the chapter, we have provided certain exercise. You can view the exercise on screen and attempt it. Hope after going through this chapter, you would be able to easily enter debit note, credit note entries in BC. 
थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग फॉर मोर वीडियो सब्सक्राइब टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल